Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Imagine if you could power your water supply using nothing but the sun. No grid, no batteries, just clean free energy. Today we're taking a step into that future by looking at this new Vivor solar water pump. This thing is a beast too, it's like eight pounds. And guess what? I've got our new resident solar expert with me. Meet Solara. Hi everyone, I'm Solara, your go-to guide for all things solar. Ready to light up your knowledge on solar water pumping? All right, let's go ahead and start unboxing this thing. I haven't opened this yet, so you're seeing it for the first time along with me. Hopefully this thing works out for us. They've got 12, 24, 36, 48, 60, and 72 volt versions of this thing. This one's a 24 to 42 volts version. Okay. Got an adapter here. Guess it's okay. It's got an O-ring on there. All right. So, pretty nice amount of cable on there. I think it said. 30 feet or 30 some feet of cable. Seems pretty solid. Look at the uh, outlet here. I'll bring you guys in on this. This is a manual. Where's the specs? Show some configurations. For the solar panels, um, batteries if you want to use batteries, if you want to power it by batteries. Some basic troubleshooting steps. the pump all stainless construction so Shouldn't be any issues. This bottom plate is aluminum, cast aluminum. So stainless and cast aluminum for the most part. Um, this 
So that's a two millimeter square cable. Have to see what that translates to for um, AWG, but seems sufficient. All right, Solara, why don't you uh, run through some specs for us on this thing? Sure thing. This pump runs directly off solar panels, no batteries needed, which means you can go completely off-grid. It works with a voltage range from 24 to 42 volts DC, draws 277 watts, pumps up to 9.25 gallons per minute, has a one-inch outlet diameter, and can push water up to a 272-foot head. Plus, it can dive up to 65.6 feet deep. That's a lot of water moving, even from deep sources. Great, and I noticed it came with an IP68 rating. Why is that important? Good eye. The IP68 rating means this pump is built to handle full immersion, so you can leave it underwater all year without worry. It also comes with a double layer stainless steel filter mesh to keep debris out and extend its life. Essentially, it's tough and ready for action, no matter the weather or water conditions. All right, speaking of performance, let's uh, talk about the motor. What can you tell us about that? This pump's high-speed carbon brush DC motor cranks out over 2,900 RPM, which means it's super efficient at drawing and delivering water. It minimizes energy loss, so you're getting maximum performance, ideal for both deep wells and long irrigation lines. Okay, for those setting up their own solar water pumping system, what additional components are they gonna need? Great question. Besides the pump, you'll need some solid solar panels and the right piping to get your water where it needs to go. The Vivor pump comes with a 33-foot power cord, giving you plenty of flexibility for installation. Just make sure your panels meet the DC 24 to 42 volt range. That's really helpful. So if I understand correctly, this system is ideal for farms, ranches, or even off-grid homesteads. Exactly. It's versatile enough for a range of applications, irrigating fields, providing a reliable water source for livestock, or even creating your very own off-grid oasis. It's all about sustainable, efficient water management. Fantastic. As we put together the system, I'll be highlighting how each component fits into the overall design. So Lara, do you have any final tips for the viewers that are new to solar water pumping? Absolutely. My top advice is to plan your system carefully, double check that all your components are compatible and always take your installation environment into account. With the right setup and a bit of maintenance, a solar water pump like this can really transform your water supply for the better. Thank you, Solara. Hope you all found that information useful. Stay tuned for the next video where we assemble our system and put the Vivor solar water pump to the test. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more off-grid and sustainable tech tips. Until next time, keep it green and keep it powered by the sun.